Welcome back everyone. We are back with another video from Sun to Man. And with this channel, we discuss mental health, trauma, and self-development. And if those are things that interest you, please subscribe, like, and touch that notification button so you don't miss out on the channel. No show, no video. <laughs> and today's topic is self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. Yes, yes, we are looking into self. We can't blame nobody with this video right here. This is all self. What are you doing to yourself that's stopping you from being the best you can be? Yes. So we're going to talk about what is self-sabotage, um, some of the characteristics, some of the stories, you know, I'm not going to leave without telling y'all a story um, of my experience of self-sabotage. Um, and again, the story is going to be coming straight from my book, Dying to Live, it's going to be coming straight from there. Um, in this video, it is going to be short in there. You definitely want to get the book to get the extended story on the topics that we do discuss on this channel. And so today, let's just dive right on in. All right, so self-sabotage. What is self-sabotage? What can we say that is? And with self-sabotage, it's literally in itself exactly what it is. So it defines and can be really complex just based off actions. Just all off your actions. What you do wrong that you know you, sh you can do right. So it's really, let's say this. Is a choice. It's a choice you make. It's a choice you make. Yes, it may be a lot of things that that have you wanting to make certain choices, but it's solely up to you. So self-sabotage. Um, say that you have bills. You know, <laughs> we all got bills. So let's say you have bills and... You know they do on the first and you know that you have to work a certain amount of hours that you uh just to meet to meet goals to to make sure your family's taken care of and then you decide to miss a week of work and so we all know certain things happen so you're like okay you know that happened and then you find a way to get it taken care of even though you messed up that week you got yourself caught up then, the next month, you missed two weeks. So now, two weeks of no pay, that can be from 40 hours to 80 hours to 160 hours, depending on if you're putting the 80 on the 80. And so, say that you missed those two weeks and rent comes around and you, you just don't have it. You don't have it. You have to tell the landlord, hey, I have to wait following two weeks because you got to make up those two weeks to get that pay. So when those two weeks following two weeks do come, you don't have it because now you have the utilities or the kids uh, programs or um, activities that they are in, just the other utilities surrounding after the rent. So you don't pay the rent. The following month comes. And you just you just don't have it. You just don't have it. And you're like, okay, I could uh, work a few hours, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'll just figure it out. If I don't have it, then I just don't have it. <laughs> that is a form of self sabotage because you know you have things to do, but you rather not make up those hours or get the extra hours to get the money to take care of it. But you you have the mindset like, hey, I don't have it, so. If they, if they want to put me out, then put me out. It, it's that mindset. 
And so that's, that's just one example of self-sabotage. And self-sabotage is, is so deep in itself that it can really affect you day to day. So it can lead, it can come from depression, meaning that you could have experienced something that made you become depressed and now, since you don't want to do anything or um, actually make good judgment calls, you are just more just cutting back on it. Just saying, okay, I'm just not going to deal with any of it. Uh, <laughs> it's just, the, it's like, it's the I don't care attitude. It's like, I don't care about losing things that we all need and that we should care about. Um, so it's it's like a, it's it's kind of selfish. Um, and it's 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 selfish to yourself. It's it's it's, it's weird because <laughs> it's really you're selfish to yourself to not better yourself. You're not selfish to yourself to make sure you're doing something to make sure you win, but you actually being selfish in a negative way to make sure you don't win. And that causes self-sabotage. That puts you in a main a major spot to 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 fail yourself. So it's really about you just failing yourself. And so with self-sabotage it can actually come before the depression so we we talked about it being you know you having to be depressed and then it caused you to you know self-sabotage and not want to do anything but self-sabotage can actually lead into depression which means you are already making bad choices. You're already making bad choices. You know certain things are due. You know you have to take care of certain things. Or even with your weight and your health and the things you eat, you know that those things lead to certain things you don't want. So you can say, hey, I know I should be eating my vegetables, but I'm going to get me a nice donut and some cookies. And that is going to be it. And with self-sabotage, it, it keeps you, have you feeling good for a moment, but that moment don't last because then you start feeling so bad. So yes, them cookies, like, yeah, you feel good eating the cookies, but then the after effect, the weight gain, the upset stomach. Over time, if you keep allowing yourself to not be on track with your health, you'll start getting insecure now that it's, you know, you're heavier or you gain a few pounds, you're insecure. You can't fit clothes. So now you don't want to go outside. You don't want to do anything. And that leads to you not doing anything. And then instead of you doing something about it, you just... Hey, well, I'm already gaining weight anyway. How about I just continue to do it? And then that mindset gets you into the depression of it all. It, it gets you into now when it's time to put in the work, it's it's the task is bigger. The task is bigger. Um, another example um is is one that Back in, in school, I can relate to a lot, a lot. Back in school, I used to hate reading. <laughs> and I got a book. <laughs> but honestly, back in school, I used to hate reading. I used to fear it. I used to fear it. And it's no joke. Um, a lot of people in my uh, family um, have a certain level of a mental and comprehensive... Um, behaviors. And so um for me, 
reading was it. Reading was it. It was like I was, I never been diagnosed with dyslexic, but I really feel and felt that something was going on. So I hated reading. I hated reading, especially out loud. So when a teacher would say, well, Shannon, uh, well, well, class, we're about to read, we're about to go around the table, go around, we each gonna take a paragraph or something. I would, I would count how many people was before me to see where maybe I was gonna land at. And I would read that part to make sure it wasn't a word in there <laughs> that I couldn't say. <laughs> Um, so, and then it would stop right at me. It would stop right at me. Like, it would be like, okay, no more, nothing else we need to read or class was over. And so I'm, I'm like, yes, I remember self-sabotage. It makes you feel good, but it ended up makes you feeling bad. So for the moment, I was like, yes, I didn't have to do it. I was fine. But then when the time came around to do it, I either wasn't prepared or um, I was blindsided and or, you know, it was it was things like that. And it was just like, hey, if you would have did it the first time or, you know, made it through, then you would have got over the frightening and, and being scared to, to speak and instead of being happy that you did speak and actually being um, grateful for yourself and, you know, rewarding yourself that you actually did it, even if you stumbled. So it's just those things that 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 triggers the the self sabotage, and it makes you. Uh, if you continuously do that, it becomes it becomes you. It becomes you. Every single thing you do or think of will become something bigger than you want it to be, and 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 it's it's bigger in a sense that you don't want to do it. Don't want to do it so you fail it. And again, that's a, a major depression. It's a major depression way to become depressed. Um, so things that we can do to overcome the self-sabotage is simply, uh, well, not simply, because <laughs> it can be simple, but it, it takes work. It takes work. So some things that we can do to overcome self-sabotage is um, being self-aware, aware of of your ability. Making sure that you take every opportunity that you have to better yourself and make it happen. Those times that you sit there and think, hey, I'm about to get my cookies, my favorite peanut butter cookies, oh, double filling, about to get them, and you like, you know what? If I get them, I'll be happy when I eat them. But when I gain that extra weight or I put my pants on and I can't button them, I'm going to be mad. So you know what I'm going to do? Get some discipline. That's what it's about. Discipline. It's about disciplining your mind to think more positive and more effective to grow. So you don't get those cookies. You go over there and get that salad. Get that salad and you tear that salad up like it was a dozen cookies. <laughs> and after you do that, you will be full, satisfied, and healthy. So, and then it's just those little steps. It goes from eating healthy. And then like, hey, I'm about to work out. I'm about to work out. And then it's just a different level. You, you feel ways that you can climb to the top more and more by thinking positive and not wanting yourself to corrupt and, and sabotage to a place that's hard to get out of. That's the number one thing. We, we don't want to get into a space or a place that we can't dig ourselves out of. That we, and if we do, it's going to be more work than we had anticipated. And so, um, a story more in depth about, about me, you know, self-sabotaging, you know, and I will have to say, 
I really have been experiencing that now lately, actually, really right now as we speak, as I go through these these um, videos, I'm totally transparent with my audience because I want you guys to know that I am you. I am you and you are me. We probably have different stories, come from different backgrounds, but we are in this together. All of this stuff happens to everyone and it can affect everyone. So for me would be right now, right now, um, I've been at my job for almost nine years, almost nine years. And I just, since my, since my grandparents passed away is like, I've been trying to figure out what it is that I want to do. And right now I'm in customer service and I love helping people. I love helping people. And I got to a place where the job duties are, are affecting me. Like what they want me, what my job entails me to do to my customers is like, is meant to make them angry. <laughs> I work in customer service and I work in a retention department. So that's like the disconnect department. It's like you want to, the customer wants to, you know, cancel whatever it is they got and move on. But my job is to aware of them why they have the service in the first place. And trust me, going into it, I was like, yes, I'm a people person. I love helping my customers. Yes, I got this. Almost nine years in, and I'm like, I'm getting cussed out. And I'm just like, man, they, they, they beat me down. They beat me down. Like I'm in a different mindset. I don't, you know, I don't want to fuss. I don't want to be fussed at, you know? So I, it's like, so what's, what can I do? So I stopped going to work. Stop going to work. I stop. Stop going to work for weeks. For weeks. And I'm like, I got, <laughs> I got my first check. I was like, okay, you know, it ain't the best, but you know, it ain't the worst either. You know, I still got a job. I still can get, you know, get the hours. Next check came. Probably shouldn't have came. Because <laughs> it, was, it was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. And I was like, so I'm letting these people scare me. <laughs> so I'm letting these people scare me from from feeding my family. So I was in a sense of I was sabotaging myself. I was really in a mindset that since I didn't want to battle, that I wasn't going to go to work, and that is ultimately stopping me taking care of my family. So what I've been doing is trying to uh, meditate before work, <laughs> meditate before work, um, read some scriptures or listen to some, um, some gospel music or um, whichever music, you know, you prefer to get you into a, a, a good mood. Um, I don't really listen to anything too rowdy or too controversial um, because um, it just didn't put a good vibe in my spirit. So gospel for me was the go-to. It, it, it was the go-to for me. So just doing that and just understanding the assignment. Understanding the assignment. We all have an assignment. So now I'm thinking, okay, I have to go to work because I have to get paid. I have to take care of my family. But I have to figure out what's the next step to get into a better situation to still take care of my family. So I, I am back at work. And I am, you know, taking more measures to, to get out of the situation instead of trying to hide from the situation. It's a difference. It's a difference. Getting out is, you know, getting out, finding better, finding peace, doing more of what you want. Hiding yourself, meaning you're 
sticking yourself, keeping yourself in a situation, you're just not trying to mentally deal with it. But you will have to deal with it at some point. So don't self-sabotage yourself. Look at it straight in the face and take it head on. Take it head on. Yes. If you enjoy this conversation about self-sabotage, make sure you like, subscribe, touch that notification bell button so you don't miss out on the next video because we will be back. This is from sun to man and we're always talking about that mental health, all the trauma that we ever been through and the self-development. What was it that made us and helped us overcome any situation that we're in? We have to grow and self-develop. From Son of Man, thank you. Make sure you get the book, Diane Slip. It will be in the description as well. Peace.